Ron Stefanski, and I'm Managing Director for Penn Foster Education here in Detroit, Michigan. I think the upskilling initiative here in Detroit is so important and powerful for a bunch of reasons. I'm a native Detroiter. I've watched this city through its ups and downs over the last 50 years. And you have to keep in mind, Detroit was one of the most populated and prosperous cities at the turn of the last century and is one of the most impoverished cities today. Now, how did that happen? It's because we lost our way putting people into meaningful work and, and meaningful jobs. When I was a kid, my grandmother Vicki used to always ask me, what are you doing to learn a trade? And as I look today, so many people are asking the same question. How do I get skills? How do I prepare myself for the future of work? And I think Penn Foster has a unique and important role in bringing that conversation to light and making things happen out of that conversation. How do we get more people working in meaningful jobs? We're gonna stir the pot here. We're gonna bring civic leaders, business leaders, community leaders together. We're gonna to put them in a room. We're gonna to talk to them about skills powered and we're gonna invite their feedback and invite their participation and we're gonna see where this goes. The big new skill that all of us need to have is learning how to learn. Six months ago, I had the idea, why not re-enroll? Re I've been doing bookkeeping for the last three years since I yep. graduated. Um, and I decided to do the bookkeeping program so that way I can become certified and start my own bookkeeping business. When a plumber comes to fix something at your house, let your kids see, wow, the amazing work you do. Thank you so much. It's what we value that kids emulate. I think a lot of it when, when you're talking about pushing down is, is eliminating that line that says, you will go to high school, you will get into the best college you can get into, and then you can write your ticket. Because we all know that that's not necessarily the case anymore. Increasingly what drives the economy is availability of talent. So a generation ago, people went to where the jobs were. You know, just look at what happened with the whole Amazon uh, headquarter search. It ended up where the talent was. And so the leading companies with the best jobs now go to where the talent is. What we stand for is the idea that you can take control of your economic future and the idea that you can be the power of example and the idea that it's gonna take a community of people, not just the traditional system, to do the kind of transformational work that's needed. And I think the people in this, on this panel are all examples of leaders who are trying to do that at scale. We need to have a lot of people thinking about not, is it college or is it a community college or is it a four-year degree or is it trade school? It's not one or the other, it's all of them. Where it needs to lead us is to a point where we lift people up in jobs where they can support their families and support their livelihood and make this a community that's accessible and successful for everyone. That's what Detroit delivered in the last century. That's what we're going to do next here.